Haha! <laughs> hey guys, this is Eric again, still uh, guest commentating for Poncho. So we're back on Star Fox Adventures, where we are going to uh, complete the puzzles in the Volcano Focus Point. And, uh, or, well, Force Point, Focus Point, Force Point, it's all the same. Come on guys, really, really? You busted my balls, Trevor, you busted my balls. Shh, that didn't happen. Anyway, <coughs> so here we are, big flamey thing, we're gonna... Hit it with some, uh, hit it with some ice to put it out. Jam our staff in the keyhole. This is nothing new, guys. You got this. All right, and running straight ahead. Doorway. Okay, follow it on around. So yeah, pretty simple stuff so far, guys. I think Poncho's got this under control. All right, so let's see. What are we doing here? Ah, uh, apparently nothing. Well, stepping on that platform. Okay, and I think Poncho's considering what exactly he's going. See, even Tricky's confused. He's like, what the hell is this? I am a dinosaur, and what is this? Dude, notice that Tricky is, like, blue and green. That's because Poncho played with his balls so much that Tricky turned blue. How cool is that? Well, I guess... Technically, oh, oh, Tricky picked up on something. There's something near. But, uh, yeah, so technically Tricky's only got one ball. But if you play with that ball enough, he'll turn colors. Yeah. Poncho says he noted that in one of the prior videos. I didn't realize that. But, uh, alright. So there we go. Shoot the green. Followed by the blue. Followed by the second blue. It has to be blue when we shoot it. There we go. Okay. Actually, no. That didn't work. And Tricky's making noises in the background. <coughs> because he's a flaming dude. Alright. So that opens that door. Uh, good times, guys. Good times. Nothing I like better than hopping around. Tricky, if you don't shut your mouth, son! When did I give you permission to talk? God. Dinosaurs these days. I swear. Alright. So here we are. This is this cool chamber bunch of, uh, these assholes attacking us, I think is what Trevor, or rather Poncho calls them. Wow, it's twice, man. It's crazy. Alright, so yeah. What? Yep. It's insane. I'm having a hard time. Alright, so we've killed the, uh, the assholes. Let's see. Do okay, we're, we're turning around now. I, I am confused. Black man, I'm about to slap you, son! Gonna get some violence going on in here. Chill. That's right. That's right. Fear the Russian bear of the... Well, just the Ru the Russian bear. I like that best. Alright, guys. Yeah, that's right. I'm trying to come up with a nickname that incorporates the word bear. Namely, because I look somewhat bearish. So if you can come up with a cool nickname that incorporates the word bear, let a brother know. And Phoenix, don't get any ideas. Yeah, so comment. If you can think up a... Uh, oh, something's happening. What is this? I don't even... Oh, dude, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, Volcano Force Point. We just did this. History in the making, gents. And you saw it only at Angry Poncho Productions. Or rather, Poncho Productions. Not that it matters. Once we get the t-shirts cranking out, you know, it'll work itself out. Good stuff. That Sharp Claw didn't sound very happy. Hemorrhoids, maybe? Hmm. Ah, oh, well. So then we just kind of warp back at goodness knows where. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, come on. Nah, beat him. Yo, oh, he just froze him. Dude, that's awesome. And then we shattered his icy figure. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so, yeah, guys, we're supposed to be having a pretty cool dinner tonight. I, uh, don't know, though. Generally, the dinners here fail to meet expectations. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. We're supposed to have one of the best, uh, you know, meal plans in the state, but... I don't really see that so much. Meh. What can you do about it? Yeah, oh, this is true. This is true. I've seen what VSU serves. And, yeah. Well, VSU is another college, for those of you who don't know, which is probably all of you. But, yeah. So, we definitely beat them. So, scratch that. Still, just not as good as it could be. Whatever. No, no, point, no point in considering this point of conversation. Alright, here we are. Avoid the barrels. They're bouncing. That would do a lot of damage. Especially to a meek little orange and cream fox with no testosterone. Like fox. God, fox can be such a girl sometimes. 
no no offense intended to any females out there. I'm certain that even, you know, our female viewers are far more brave than Mr. Fox. So I guess that's not technically very correct uh, to say he's a girl. Hmm. Fox is just... Well, yeah, he's in it. He's in his own class. Yeah. So for all the female viewers out there, no offense intended. I'm certain you all are far above Fox. So we'll just, you know, I'll apologize for my earlier comment. Fox is just Fox. Hi, Fox. Meh. General Pepper here. General Pepper here. General Pepper here. General Pepper here. You gotta stop that, man. You're killing me. God. All right. So now we're running. Hmm, not quite certain where. Poncho, where are we going, buddy? Back to Thorntail Hollow. Uh, you know, guys, when I was a little kid, and not even a little kid, but like a baby, and I'd start crying, my parents put me in the closet. Like, it was totally awesome. To this day, I walk in that closet, and it just smells so good. You have no idea. Like, I don't even have any idea. I don't know how it works. But yeah, whenever I start crying, there was this closet in, like, the very center of my house. Pretty much surrounded by everything else. So, really well padded. And, uh, you know, my dad used to work very odd hours. He'd be out very late and have to be up very early. So, crying was not a good thing. So, they'd just stick me in the closet because it was quiet. And it was peaceful and it was dark. And I'd stop crying eventually. And nobody had to listen to it if I didn't. You know, that's cool, though. That's cool. Because now that closet smells awesome. Best closet ever. Not quite sure what led me to tell that story, but hey, whatever. So here we are at Thorntail Hollow, and uh, that mushroom is moving. I think... Did that mushroom just shoot us? Oh, okay. The mushrooms smell bad. Oh, m my goodness. What is, what is this? What is this? I don't even... Dude, that dinosaur could totally mess those things up. <laughs> Fox, save them, or her, depending. Run, run, little man. All right. Dude. Pew 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 pew. Lasers. Pew 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 pew. Dude, you totally need to have an SMG in this game. <laughs> that would be amazing. That would like fill in for all of Fox's shortcomings. It's like, Save yeah, Fox might tribe, be a, please. you know, little baby, but he's got an SMG. Okay, save the rest of the tribe. Don't let them get eaten by these things. Okay, sweet. That's cool. Just got another text message relevant to my interest. It's been one heck of a day, guys. Ah, uh, how much time are we looking at, Mr. Poncho? Uh, Alright, ladies and gents, we got three more minutes of killing these little flapping deals before they destroy the, uh, the thorn tails. I do not like those guys one bit. They're nothing like real bats, because real bats are awesome. You guys ever seen any real bats? They're pretty freaking cool. We used to have a bat house, like, outside at my house. Had it on a post. Bats would, like, roost there. They're awesome. Right? Yeah? <laughs> How do you think of this? Black man just chimed in on my bat coming. He's like, dude, take a sock and fill it full of rocks and sling it up in the air. And the bats, like, go after it. And they get smashed in the face. It's awesome. I don't know what's wrong with this kid. I've never tried that and I don't particularly plan to, but alright. <laughs> Point noted. Oh, wow. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, I'm telling you, I don't know what is up with these guys and animal cruelty. I mean, first off, Poncho, you know, back when he was doing Pikmin. Good lord. And now, the black man apparently doesn't like bats. Jeez, these are terrible people. Hey, why are these people my friends? You come to the Seriously. Aid of our tribe. Once you again, you come to the aid of our tribe. Hero, Fox. Ah. Look, fella, I'm are these not people British? Like, you guys out of trouble. these British dinosaurs? <laughs> I've got this for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, He's gonna give us well, something. Thanks. Yeah, new item. This is a large scarab bag, dude. That now that is cool. It holds two hundred scarabs, dude. That that is kind of cool, actually. Generally, these dinosaurs don't 
have anything of any use. Now that you've got the big scarab bag, you need to fill it with scarabs. You should be able to buy something shiny and golden from the store. Hmm. Shiny and golden. Alright, guys. Next time on Star Fox Adventures, we'll see you with a full wallet. And God, that would be nice. I wish I could just be like, yeah, see you in a bit. Full wallet. Whatever. Alright, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and I uh, guess we'll talk to you later.